Hey YouTube, Sexy Bogus here for another Destiny video. It's been a while since I've uploaded something. The reason is my wife just gave birth to our beautiful daughter. So I'm pretty sure you guys will understand I had less time to do some Destiny videos lately. But no worries, I'll keep making videos as long as it is possible for me to do so. Alright, let's talk about Rift. Iron Banner is back this week and instead of Clash or Control, it's the Rift game mode. We all know how it works. But how to be a good Spark Runner? I'm going to be giving you some tips and I hope this will help some of you to improve as a runner. First, know the map by heart. This is pretty obvious, but knowing the map will help you choose the right path you should take as the runner. It will be also really important in situations that there's a bunch of enemies you didn't expect in front of you and that you need to take a little shortcut to go past them. Also, this will help you think of some spots where players don't usually go and that the opposite team would be surprised to see you coming from there. 2. Don't be afraid to back up. You're not holding a bomb that will blow if you go the opposite side of the enemy rift. We're not in the speed movie here. Slowing down won't kill you. Actually, this will help you make better decisions, since you will have few more seconds to think. I usually tend to go back to our spawn, then take another path to the enemy rift. If you take the spark and run right away in their rift direction, it will be easy for them to find you. 3. Use your radar constantly. Like I said in the previous tip, slow down and analyze what's going on. The closer you get to the enemy rift, the more enemies there will be. So when you need to decide which path would be the best, your radar can be really useful since sometimes you'll be able to see from what direction the enemy will come. If you see too many red bars on your radar and you're alone, hiding somewhere, running back to your teammates or to the other side of the map might be the best thing to do. 4. If you feel comfortable with that, use a high agility build and equip your Mida when running if you have one. When you have the spark, you want to move faster. Personally, I like using my Voidwalker Warlock when playing Rift. Max agility, blink and Mida multi-tool makes you a really hard target to hit. 5. Don't stand too close to the spark spawn and only stand there if the countdown is over and that you can take it. And when you do, keep moving while pressing X or square. You will be a bit harder to hit. I see too many people just crouching next to the spark, waiting for it to be charged so they can pick it up. This is not a crazy bad thing to do, but if there's enemy players trying to get the spark at the same time, it will be easier for you to kill them from a distance. Then, once the area is safe, go pick it up. That's it guys, these are my top 5 tips for being a good spark runner. Nothing crazy, but these are surely some important basic tips that we should all use in my opinion. Then again, what counts is that you feel comfortable the way you play. I hope this video will help some of you. I thought Rift was a really hard game mode to play solo when it first came out, but the more I play it, the more I enjoy it. I'm Sexy Bogus. leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day guys.